Hurricane season is underway, and while there are no storms on the horizon right now, it's always a good idea to be prepared. One thing you'll hear when the tropics are active is that cone of uncertainty. Meteorologist Colleen Peterson explains how the cone works and what it means. Out ahead of a storm, it's important to understand what's coming. While some are not familiar with the cone of uncertainty, I'm not too familiar with it unless you know someone's pointing it, you know, on the um, on the TV. Mm, not really. Others are. Yeah, it's in the projection that shows where the hurricane is going. The cone of uncertainty shows the forecasted path for the center of the storm. Even if you're outside of the cone, you probably should be still be paying attention as impacts can be felt well outside of that cone. This means the center of the storm could trend anywhere within the cone, bringing impacts far outside of the cone. As that just because you might not be in the cone doesn't mean you're not going to be impacted significantly by that hurricane. This is what happened last year with Hurricane Sally. You can see a few days out, the right side of the cone cut through northwest Florida. The center of the storm then trended towards that direction. Um, a lot of the misconceptions is that people feel safe if they're not in the cone. Bringing the strong winds and impacts to Baldwin County in northwest Florida. Three dogs crouched down in the bathroom the whole time, and we kept watching and watching, and then this tree fell. And then that tree right behind it, we had just kept falling. It's important to be prepared this hurricane season. Head to WKRG.com to participate in a Florida State University research survey on how you interpret the forecast cone. Reporting in Mobile, I'm meteorologist Colleen Peterson with WKRG News 5.